approximately 130 yards from his target on a rooftop, that's about 400 feet, a 20-year-old gunman fired multiple shots with an AR-style rifle in a failed assassination attempt against former U.S. President Donald Trump. He was identified by the FBI as Thomas Matthew Crooks, and here's what we know about him. Crooks hailed from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, a relatively affluent, predominantly white suburb of Pittsburgh, located about 42 miles away from Butler, where the assassination attempt took place on Trump. The, the Allegheny County Water Records listed Crooks as a registered Republican, but interestingly, at 17, a few years ago, Crooks, was, Crooks did make a contribution to Act Blue, a political action committee that raises money for Democratic candidates. So while Trump's shooter was registered Republican, he also turned out to be a Democrat donor in the past. Not just that, Crooks worked as a dietary aide at Bethel Park Skilled Nursing and Rehabilitation Center and was responsible for delivering food to the facility's residents. Now the shooter graduated in 2022 from Bethel Park High School. The ceremony posted online shows him with glasses and a black graduation gown and posing with a school official. He was handed a $500 National Math and Science Initiative Star Award during his graduating year as well. Crooks allegedly had a pension for camo outfits and video games. His classmates identified him as a loner while delving into his past and the personality that he had. According to his half According to half a dozen former classmates, Crooks was rejected from his high school's rifle club. He was told not to return due to, quote-unquote, what a bad shot he was. I didn't have any interaction with him, but he was a, like a kid that was always alone. He was always bullied uh, every day. He was just an outcast. While he carried out one of the most high-profile shootings, Crooks wore a grey t-shirt with an American flag purchased from the popular YouTube firearms channel Demolition Ranch. Eyewitnesses spotted him moving across the roof before positioning himself to fire at Trump while he was speaking. 